and welcome back to another season of Discovery Gold Farming video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a somewhat secret gold farm in phase three that can make you a lot of gold. Before we get into it, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has gotten a copy of my season of Discovery Gold Guide and all the positive feedback it has been getting. So the main item that we're going to be farming for is the Big Mouth Clams. Now these have a whole heap of items you can get from them, but you're mainly after the Golden Pearls and the Zesty Clam Meats. Now I would highly recommend having skinning to do this farm because these items right here add up and worth, are worth a decent amount of gold. On top of skinning, you also have this item right here, which every five stack of these actually vendors for 45 silver. And you get these very consistently and you end up with a lot. So we're gonna be farming the turtles in Tanaris, but right down on this bottom part. They're around level 50 here, and there's pretty much zero competition at this spot. That is why it is so secret. So what you wanna do is you wanna run down the coastline where I'm going right now, and I'll show you exactly how to get there. But there's going to be no other people down here except people that are gold farming because there's no quests that bring you down to this location and not many people actually know that this location even exists in the game. So this is why, quote unquote, it's a secret gold farm for phase three because you're gonna not have barely any competition unless this video blows up. But this has been a really good gold farm. I've done this in error and I've made a lot of gold from it and I've been doing this in phase three at the moment to make a lot of gold. Now the turtle scales are actually used in a waylaid supply. So they have a really, really good price. Now you get them from actually skinning the mobs and that is the main reason why I recommend actually having skinning to do this farm. The rugged leather also is currently worth a lot of gold, but on my realm specifically, you can go anywhere up to 50 silver each and you're going to end up with a bunch of this from this farm. Now we're down at the location. You can see there is turtles absolutely everywhere and there is zero people down here. So what you can actually do, if you have a class with some AOE, you can pull them together and you can AOE farm these guys. Um, but if you don't have a class that has AOE, it's just as good single targeting these guys and just blasting out with your best single target spec. It still works really, really well. But for an example, I'm a mage, so I'm gonna be showing you how I personally was doing it as a mage and doing AOE farming on these guys. I was pulling around three to four of these at a time, and this seemed to work out pretty well. This first pull was a bit rusty, just because I got here, and as you can see, I'm down at 300 health and not a lot of mana, but these guys are super slow, especially once they are low health, and you can kite these guys extremely easily. They don't do too much damage, they do a bit more in Season of Discovery actually than in Error, and they do have a little bit more health, but they are very easy to actually farm these guys. They only hit with melee, obviously they don't have any ranged abilities, so that makes them perfect for kiting and AOE farming. Now, if you're a mage, you could do the Blizz AOE farming method like we're used to in Error, or you can mess around and you could use your living bombs and your living flame and doing some cone, cone of cold kiting on these guys. Both methods work really well. But as you can see, sometimes you actually get two turtle scales, which adds up very quickly. That we're going at the moment on my round for 60 silver each. And so if you get two of them, that's a gold and 20 silver, just like that. Now this is the main reason why I would recommend having skinning, because it, it really, really makes this gold farm a lot better. Now, speaking about the golden pearls, they come from the big, the big mouth clams that you get from these guys. Now it only has a 0.5% drop chance to actually get a golden pearl from the big mouth clams. So don't expect to come here and to end up with hundreds of golden pearls right away. They are kind of rare, but that is what makes the price of them worth so much. And golden pearls are going to be used in a bunch of different crafts in phase three. So there is going to be a good demand for them. So you should be able to sell them off very easily if you're lucky enough to get your hands on some of the golden pearls. Now, on the other hand, the zesty clam meat, it has a 100% drop chance from the big mouth clams. And now this is actually used in a new waylaid supply. It is used to create the 
I believe it's the um, the clam chowder and they require the zesty clam meat and so this is one of the new waylaid suppliers so that also gives that item a really high demand and the price of that has actually recently went up quite a lot it's not worth anything crazy you can get anywhere on my realm from like five to ten silver but you get you like you're guaranteed to get one of them every single big mouth clam that you get and they sell extremely well obviously because they're used in the new waylaid supplies in phase three let me know down in the comments what is your favorite farm so far in phase three what has made you the most amount of gold in phase three so far personally mine has been with the new nightmare incursions actually using skinning inside of there getting the scales and trading them selling them to people inside of the nightmare incursions but let me know down in the comments which one which gold farm has been your favorite and most successful in phase three also let me know down in the comments if you have cleared the raid yet now the raid is very difficult in phase three we all know that and hopefully get to know quite a bit i haven't finished a raid yet i think we got to six out of eight in the raid um, but fingers crossed once you have a little bit more gear we can go ahead and clear that one but as you can see there is zero people down here even after this video I don't expect there to be too many people down here. The reason why there's so many people at other locations is mainly because there is either like a quest or they run by and they already know the part of the place. With this spot, pretty much no one knows about it. So this is why it is such a good farm to do. And it's a really good spot to actually level up your skinning and also make a bunch of gold from doing this. In the hour that I tested whilst doing this, I made close to 200 gold within the hour. Um, the prices may change, and this is on my realm. I play on Crusader Strike NA, which is one of the most populated realms, and we have some really good prices at the moment for materials. Um, the prices will go down over time, but at the moment, they're absolutely insane, and this is a really good gold farm to do. But on top of all the materials and stuff you get from here, because they are level 48 to 50, you have a chance of getting some really good BOE items that are the perfect range level for phase three and you actually have a chance on top of the greens and the blues there's a few purples that you can get from here that sell for a lot of gold so that is why this is a really good gold farm because you're going to make a bunch of steady gold and you also have a chance at with some RNG on your side to go ahead and get some really valuable items really increasing the amount of gold per hour that you can make from this farm that was it for this video if you enjoyed hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more phase 3 gold making videos and also flipping videos for phase 3 if you'd like to learn the best ways to make gold in seasonal discovery you can check out my complete seasonal discovery gold guide which will be the first link down below in the description box this goes over all the best methods on how to make gold in seasonal discovery and is constantly updated this will be updated once again in phase four with all the best methods. And if you already own a copy, you get the new versions and all the updates completely for free. Until the next one, guys, take care.